Yo, what is up fam and welcome to today's video, second episode of the competition prep. We are 25 days out from getting absolutely diced to the bone. I'm already feeling it. Diced and to the bone. Yeah, diced to the bone. Even, look, this is like half a sleep still. You need some pre-workout. This is gonna get shredded with me. That's so good, babe. Got some almond milk bite. Ghost? Perfect. Where the bowl's at? Where the hose at? Yeah, yeah. Pop. Spoon, spoon. Yeah, yeah. Pop, pop, pop. Turkey bacon. Wait, hold, hold, hold up. Spinach and turkey bacon. My breakfast is pretty much the same every single day. So you guys saw it. We have some oats. We have almond milk. Some ghost protein powder. Then we have spinach and oh my god, turkey bacon's already in the bowl. That's pretty much it. Literally the same thing every day. We got my carbs, protein. Hey, excuse me, I'm feeding the kittens. Faye, you gotta go. Let's go. They, they do it fast for everybody. They don't care. They just want food. Oh, you guys hungry? Normally they also take a shit before they eat. They normally run into their little litter box and take poops. Oh my God, look, he just did it. I called it. He has to take his poop before he fills his little belly. Okay, so we got one for uh, her too. See, you guys, I ain't playing tricks. Let's go. So this one's for Ziz. This one's for Nina. And then this one's for Cola. So we got three cats. Your water looks awfully fucking dirty. Ziz, come here. Don't, do not knock that over. Come here, come eat. Ew, now it stinks. What'd you guys do? Poo or pee? Look at them. They're like freaking, look. He can't even wait. Wait! Wait! So intense, he can't even wait. <laughs> Nina! Nina, come eat! <laughs> he wants some kitten food! <laughs> oh. What are you making? Actually looks really good. I could eat that. I, I'm gonna show you guys my breakfast, but before that, we got some aesthetic lighting here. So I'm gonna show you guys my physique, since I, oh, we gotta fix this a little bit. Since I haven't shown you guys it since last time. So when I said I was four weeks out, I kind of fucked up. I was a little bit more than four weeks out. I think it was four weeks and like three or four days. So now we are 25 days out. So three weeks and four days. I've been prepping for two weeks now. So this is what I'm looking like. Do like a little, a little pose down. Right, so we'll do physique. <laughs> a little side try for you. Oh, did you hear those clicks and pops? <laughs> Back. I feel good. I feel really good. What do you think, babe? Thumbs up? Thumbs up. Okay, now I actually gotta eat. I feel like every time I'm vlogging and I'm trying to make breakfast, my breakfast takes like 30 to 45 minutes to make where normally it's like a 10 minute breakfast. That's just part of the process, right? So what I'm gonna do is take a three quarter cup, got it right here, three quarter cup of oats, put it in the bowl, and then I'm gonna put uh, the almond milk in there and then let it sit. What, you, what was that? We're gonna put it in the bowl, take the almond milk, and then I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit while my turkey bake it. Listen, you do that one more fucking time, I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna take this and shut up your ass. Not baby. <laughs> like I was saying, I swear to God, you do it one more time. I'm gonna let the oats sit in the cold milk, let it soak up the almond milk to get that flavor, flav. He's literally just trying to make noise on purpose. And while that's happening, we're gonna put the turkey bacon cooking and then once it's done cooking then we put the protein powder and where's my blueberries and the blueberries into the oats we mix it up cook the spinach and then boom you have it babe i think your energy rubbed off of me from last night four purses oh my god babe i can't even speak four purses of turkey bacon do you hear that? Do you even listen to me half the time I'm speaking? I was doing something well. I said four purses of turkey bacon. Purses? <laughs> they know my secret. The oats have been sitting for a while, so now we add the one scoop of protein powder. 
Yo, this pro, I'm not even sponsored, but I would absolutely love to be sponsored by Ghost. That's like kind of one of my goals. This uh, vegan one, chocolate cereal milk, literally the best shit ever. And I'm not just saying that, it's actually the best. I've had so many damn proteins and uh, it is a vegan one. I don't know, I feel like I've told you guys this before. I don't have whey anymore because I have the worst shits in my life. I get headaches and my stomach doesn't like me. So we got one scoop in there. And then, like I said, we add some blueberries. Honestly, don't measure these right now, but what I'm gonna do is just like a, a handful of blueberries and then we'll mix everything up. I'm gonna put a little bit more because I fucking love these blueberries. Mmm, there you go. It's a pretty big bowl of oatmeal. Here's the finished product, literally the same as every other time. We have spinach, four pieces of turkey, bacon, the other two are under there. The oats with everything that I showed you that was in it. And then, oh, also, I, I feel like I've said this before in like all my other vlogs and stuff, but I always have one liter of water as soon as I wake up. And then I've actually filled this one, a little Culligan over there, and I'll drink that with my meal. So technically I'm having like almost like 1.5 liters, almost two liters before actually hitting the gym. The setup of my little warehouse in the basement is literally perfect. So my room is over there. Every time I wake up, go upstairs, like I see the big logo, see all the apparel. So it's like instantly, motivation to just like work on it, get shit done. I just love the fact that I can, I can wake up, go work on it, see everything. It's like, it's that physical feeling that it's here. Like obviously the majority of my business is online, so I can't really see a lot of it, but having something physically here for me to see helps a lot, especially when I wanna actually get shit done. And it's, it's motivation, right? So we're gonna be heading to the gym. I actually got a hoodie for my videographer his name is Phoebes. he's gonna be doing all the like sick edits for these videos i'm gonna show you guys him right away but we're gonna head to the gym let's go this come on <laughs> no <laughs> no <laughs> where are you going mom open the door open you little shit he just ran right outside oh, yeah. okay see you okay, see you later Bye. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna mix up some pre right now, but I'm not gonna take it just yet. I'm meeting up with Phoebes right away, so I think we're gonna switch over to his camera because he's gonna do like the whole edit, the gym stuff and whatever. He's doing all like the gym edits, mainly because I wanna be able to focus on my actual lifts and not having to like vlog and set up the camera and then my lifts aren't as good and then I get frustrated. It's just not a good time. But anyways, I'm gonna be mixing up Ghost Legend, one scoop of this and I'm gonna take my three pills of creatine that I already have in my car. It's Purple K, the one I always take. Cash, the blow with the gang. Run for the fam, don't want no more pain. Wise and fam, put that on the chain. Peg on the map, with no more to stage. Ratchet my life, by God I was saved. Demons I fight. So Phoebes isn't here yet. I told him to come for like 1.30 and it's 1.10. So what I'm actually gonna do is get some drone shots and see if he wants to actually use them. So I'm gonna get some drone shots around Tall Gym, get some like city shots. And if he wants to use them, he can. If not, then I'll just save him for like another time. But I got time, so why not? I know I'm in Vegas and fuck me a I just got it grind like the day is my last. Can't see this or nameless. I wish it was painless, but I keep on moving, can't live in the past. Let's get the man shows up, man. Let's go. The fucking edit god is here, yo. Let's go. Let's go. Yo, when are we, are we transitioning right now or what? <laughs> right now, let's go. I haven't had coffee. I'm just kidding. I'm getting a tattoo today. Are you? Yeah. Of what? Like Huh? Of what? It's like a heart. It's gonna be like on my neck. Oh, a heart for me, bro? Holy of shit. Of course, bro. I'm just kidding. you know I love you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck, man. Nice. So, my friend was like, yo, you probably shouldn't drink a lot of caffeine. And I'm like... What time is it at? Uh, it's at 5.30. 5.30, nice. Where are you yeah. going to get it done? Uh, It's in McPhillips. It's my friend's uh, girlfriend. Okay. She's been doing tattoos for a little bit. Nice. So. Well, so, no, what actually made you get the heart, though? What was it for? Uh, It's actually uh one of my favorite artists. It was... uh. It was his cover for one of his albums. Okay. It's probably one of my favorite albums. And it was a heart that his mom drew before she passed away. Oh shit. Yeah. And yeah, it's just that sick. album like resonated with me a lot. And I was just like, fuck. And I've been wanting that tattoo for a while now. Yeah, I got, Bro, I got, I got one. I got, look, I got my oh, tiny yeah. little one, man. You went to your Thailand, right? Yeah, man. But it was, yeah, I mean, mine was four in one go, bro. Holy shit. I was like, fuck it, it was a hundred bucks for all of them, so. A what? A hundred bucks for all of them. That's it? Yeah, 25 bucks each. 
Man, that's so cheap. <laughs> even for that, like, even, even for that for one? this one, yeah. You ready to get this working or what? Yeah, man, let's do it. Okay, I need a. I already started drinking some of my pre. Cause I was, oh, okay, yeah, that's chill. Because I was like, uh, man, if my body's so used to drinking pre workout at this time yeah. that if I don't, I immediately start to get like tired and I get a headache. Yeah, no, that's chill, bro. I mean, I'm, it's hitting me. I have withdrawals, man. <laughs> I haven't had caffeine like all morning and I usually have like caffeine as soon as I wake up. Yeah. And. On the drive here, I was like, fuck, I'm gonna pass out. <laughs> So I'm gonna start with bench, and I'll do one more for chest. Move over to tricep, two exercises, and then shoulder, same thing, two exercises. Off the beginning, with the compound movement, I'm trying to do this with every single uh, workout, is go heavy. So if I'm doing legs, I'm doing my heavy squat. If I'm doing back day, I'm either doing heavy rows on a barbell or cables. So we're gonna head over there now, take longer rest times, try to, I probably won't go for like a PR or anything, but basically just get that strength and try to maintain it. Here's the plan. I'm gonna start with one plate, go to 185, 225. I'm gonna feel at 225, see what I can do. And if it feels really easy, I'm gonna jump up and do a little bit more. I don't really wanna go past like my max two reps, I'd say, or max three reps. Um, so I might go up to, who knows, 275 if I, if I can, but I've also lost weight. I've noticed my strength has decreased a little bit. So we're just gonna see how it feels and just go from there. <laughs> and I kind of want to go for 275. If you don't do it, I'll do it for you. Yo, know, if, if I start to die, you gotta throw the camera in the air, get that fucking spin, spot me, and then catch it. <laughs> So for my rest times, I'm waiting between two to three minutes for my heavier ones. Off the beginning, like for my warm-up sets, it's like one minute. But if I was to do, say like a one rep max, I can wait up to like four minutes. You don't need to be doing your sets fast. Let your body recover, get its energy back, and then go for those heavy sets. Still good. The only thing is that my pump not the greatest. That's also 
them on lower carbs. So I was actually telling Thebes, this whole next week here, I'm still gonna be doing low carbs. Towards the end of the week, Sunday, Monday, we do a refeed, carb back up. So that the next video on the Tuesday, I should be feeling really good, be able to get a pump, just have a lot of energy. And then right after that, back to low carbs. Seven days a week, I'm doing cardio. So on the days that I'm actually working out, I'm up to 30 minutes. So off the beginning, I started off with 10 minutes, right? As I was getting into it day by day, I was adding up, I was adding five minutes every workout. So we're up to 30 minutes now, that's my cap. But on my rest days, so training six days a week, on the one day off, I'm doing abs, and I'm doing 40 minutes of cardio plus mobility. So only one day of 40 minutes, the rest 30 minutes, and it's all on the Stairmaster. And I'm gonna to talk to you guys more about like when the best time to do cardio is, why I do Stairmaster and all that stuff. But right now, I'm gonna get this shit done and get shredded. That was a long ass fucking workout. Like holy shit, let me check the time. Let me check the time if I can get it out of my sweaty ass pocket. 5.08. I got here at one o'clock. It has been four hours. I pretty much live at the gym, but I finished everything. We got the content. I can't even think that's like literally how hungry I am. I'm so starving. I've only had my protein shake and my breakfast this morning. So I, I need to go home and eat. So I'm actually gonna wait till I eat before I talk to you guys about the cardio and when the best time to do it is just so I can actually process what I'm thinking and get my words out without <laughs> sounding like an absolute idiot. But anyways, everything was done. Cardio is done. We did 30 minutes. And actually we did 35 because my buddy started talking to me. I was like, fuck it. Let's go five more minutes extra shreds. Why not? Thebes bought one of the black on black hoodies. He literally went with an XL like the guy's swimming in it, but that's his style. You know, he likes it. So whatever he's repping the brand. If you guys want to rep one. Hit it up, it's getting cold outside. I'm telling you, you guys will not regret buying one of these hoodies. I have every size in stock right now. There used to be way more, like literally it was filled right to the top and some of them were in the window. I just want you guys to experience this product. It's literally my favorite. The hoodies and these joggers, black on black, they're legendary. So if you guys wanna support me, 100% I would start with this product. It is the most expensive one, but expensive for a reason, it's it's amazing. I mean, if you if it's on your budget, there's other stuff. I'm just saying, that's my favorite one. Come here. Where's my food? Yeah, we got some tomato chicken. Go. <laughs> Excuse me, child. What are you doing? Who said you could have my carbs? You fucking window licker. Get away from all my meal prep. Why do you keep licking that? Does that taste good? Yeah, I wish I could have some of those carbs. Sister's going in for it too. One of the best things about competing and nutrition and everything is that I fucking meal prep because I'm forced to or else I start messing things up and then I don't eat properly and I don't shred properly. Also, if I don't have my meals ready, I can get pretty hangry and when you're prepping and getting shredded, those effects are already heightened. You get frustrated very easily and you can become like a fucking lion trying to kill its food. So if someone tries to touch your food, that's like a no-go. Like if Miranda were to touch my food, Right now, like my meal prep, the only food I get to eat, I'd probably rip her face off because it's just like instinct is kicking in. It kick <laughs> I can't even speak! Okay, I need to eat. Woo! I'm hungry. What the fuck is this? Oh my god, you guys have been digging the plants! Fucking psychos. Meal number two, 
Or meal number three, if you include include the protein shake. I still can't speak because I haven't ate yet. But what we have is cucumber. I have like one like baby cucumber, one Roma tomato, and then a handful of spinach, one cup of the red chicken. It's like a tomato chicken. The tomato sauce is literally just strained tomato. And then I put a little bit of olive oil, salt, pepper, garlic powder, fresh onion, well chopped up onion. And then underneath I have a cup of white rice. That's the meal. It actually looks pretty big. This looks really good. That's what she said. Hey fam, it's time. I gotta make sure I don't have anything in my teeth. Now it's time to talk about cardio. Right, Zizzy boy? I swear to God, you eat that fucking plant, I will throw you through the window and you will sleep outside in the doghouse. We're gonna talk about cardio and when the best time is to do cardio, to get shredded and maintain your muscle. Big points there, to get shredded and maintain your muscle. So there's fasted cardio. I feel like so many people do this. It's stupid, this is straight up. It's stupid unless you are extremely overweight. If your body fat percentage is extremely high, you have a lot of fat to lose, then go ahead and do fasted cardio. You're gonna burn a lot of weight overall quickly. But if you're in my situation, you're already lean and you wanna maintain your muscle, do not do fasted cardio. You will end up burning some of your muscle. Your body, listen, you go in the morning, you haven't ate anything, you just woke up, you have nothing to burn. Your body has burned everything. It's glycogen stores through through the night. So you, you go to the gym, you get on the, the cardio machine. Your body is gonna start burning fat and muscle. It doesn't care. It has nothing else to burn. It's not just gonna simply be like, yo, this guy, I know what he's doing. He's trying to get shredded. He's going to the comp. We're just gonna take away some of this fat, sculpt it all nice and shit, and leave all of his muscle. Doesn't work. So I'm just gonna leave it at that. Don't fucking do it if you're trying to get shredded and you're already lean. If you're overweight, you have lots of fat to burn, go ahead. Fast cardio, great, unreal. Now, second one, doing cardio before your workout. It's not terrible, but it's also not good for maintaining muscle and strength i should i should point that out it's not good for maintaining strength because when you go to the gym you have your energy or whatever you're on you're in a calorie deficit you're already low on energy you get to the gym you go do with 30 minutes of cardio not even scientific here get off the cardio machine and tell me if you want to go and smash a lift you just took some pre-workout you did your cardio you just gassed yourself tell me if you're gonna perform the same way you would have for the training if you wouldn't have done that cardio the answer is no you you're, you're not gonna perform the same so your performance is going to drop if you're doing your cardio before. Your strength also going to diminish. And when we're cutting, it's important to still do those strength movements to maintain the muscle that we have, to maintain the strength. But if you're gassing yourself before a workout, depleting your glycogen stores, lowering your energy, your training is gonna be subpar. So that's that, we leave it at that. The next one would be doing cardio after the training. Now this is what I do, but it's still not the absolute best one but it's second best and for most people they don't have time for the for the other one so you do your training you get your strength up you hit your hypertrophy do whatever your hit training is shit and you use up all your energy you're feeling good you did what you needed to do in the weight training take a little second go do your cardio do your 30 minutes now you're extremely gassed you're good but the thing is you were able to perform properly during the weight training to maintain your strength and your muscle there's a better scenario but not everyone can do this one. And that's going for two, day, two workouts a day. So you do your weight training first, and then you'll go later in the day to do your cardio. And it's basically just separating everything, allowing your body to refuel your glycogen stores, so that way you're not overworking yourself, overworking your muscles in that training session to the point where you're, like say if you hit a leg day, you absolutely kill it, so you're breaking down muscle during the training, and then you go and do Stairmaster, and now you're doing muscle endurance, which is still gonna stimulate your muscles. So you can almost overwork your legs because you're also in a calorie deficit, so you, it's very easy to go catabolic. So you can potentially lose some muscle, which we never fucking wanna do. So to optimize it, we would do the weight training first in the morning or the afternoon and then go do cardio later. But honestly, doing cardio after your training, it's totally fine, that's what I do. I'm just saying that would be the best, best 
option. So I hope this helps you guys. That's like my value to give to you guys today because I always want to give you guys something. Um, but yeah, I got to go do some work for Resilient. Anyways, smash the thumbs up because I give you guys some value and that just, you know, helps me out too. So we're trying to climb. One day we're going to hit 10K subscribers. So I'm actually going to end the video here, but I just wanted to say thank you for supporting me through this whole YouTube channel from day one. Like I started this YouTube channel last year, February, so 2019. And I was beyond like nervous to do it because it's hard getting in front of a camera, going out to like a grocery store or a gym and holding a camera to your face and talking to it. And then people just like judging you and just being like, are people even watching you? And at the time, like, no, there wasn't like a ton of people watching me. Even now there isn't, but just having 1000 subscribers being just hitting that number and seeing it consistently growing is motivation and i'm just happy to have even some of you watching and getting value from what the fuck i'm saying and what i'm doing so thank you guys for that there's tons of more content to come you know the vibe we're gonna get shredded and step on stage and take that first place let's go they want me to fail i'm busy feeling myself understand that i'm really on a way up way up way up way up Crew, we on the way up, way up.